This fall, Arizona is one of at least eight states in which voters will decide the future of abortion access. Just today, an Arizona court ruled that a fetus can be referred to as a, quote, unborn human being on an informational pamphlet being provided to voters about the ballot measure. Arizona Secretary of State Adrian Fontes joins me now from Phoenix. Mr. Secretary, thank you for being with us. The coalition supporting the abortion ballot measure has condemned this ruling, calling the description for a fetus, quote, biased and politically charged. Do you agree with them? Well, uh, as an official uh, who is going to be running the campaign, I'd say I'm going to remain neutral. But as an elected Democrat in Arizona, not in my official capacity, I do agree with them. It's uh, not uh, really sensible. The lower courts uh, had made that clear, and uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, we will uh, put the language that the courts uh, oblige us to put on the publicity pamphlet, uh, and we will move forward uh, through the campaign. That's, this is a pamphlet that's being mailed to people or that they can pick up at a public library? What, what exactly is it? So in Arizona, there is a state law that a publicity pamphlet is mailed to every address where a registered voter resides, one or more. Yep. So if you've got three people in the House, you get one publicity pamphlet. It has the language for all the propositions uh, and uh, statements from the candidates. It is provided, I believe, uh, by uh, a coalition of uh, different groups. The Clean Elections Commission has a piece of it. The Secretary of State's office has a piece of it. And the language uh, is uh, usually litigated, particularly in controversial uh, sorts of uh, uh, times, like 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 as far as uh, Prop 139 is concerned. Sure. And just to clarify, I, I think when you said earlier, as Secretary of State running the campaign, you mean you're overseeing elections in the state. So in your official capacity, you take no opinion. Uh, just That's want to clarify. Correct. Yes, I don't want it, to confuse. And, and the I fears. appreciate that. We're yeah. you know, as an elected Democrat, I have an opinion, uh, but I also have my official duty. Uh, which uh, we can talk about that stuff if you'd like. We're going to get to some of that in a moment. But are you surprised by the historic amount of support for this ballot measure? Do you think it indicates success in November and potentially success for your fellow Democrats who are on the ballot? I'm not surprised by the support, but the support is eye-popping. I mean, we had over well over 800,000 Arizonans uh, who signed off. And of the valid signatures, uh, that's through all of the scrutiny. We had 577,000 plus uh, as a certified number. And that's an enormous number. That's close to one in every seven Arizona voters has a valid signature on those petitions. That's a huge amount of support. And it is absolutely more than just bipartisan. Independents, no labels, libertarians, greens, Republicans and Democrats, we're all signing off on this. They'd all like to see a return uh, to something um, pre-Dobbs as far as uh, Roe v. the Roe v. Wade issue and abortion access is concerned. I mean, your state's gotten pretty used to having high-stakes elections every two years, but this ballot measure has the potential to really now help Vice President Harris's chances, Ruben Gallego's chances in the Senate race, right? Absolutely no question about it. This is going to energize the base of folks who are looking to have uh, some freedom. And we've seen uh, Carrie Lake, who's running again. She's running against uh, Congressman Ruben Gallego for the U.S. Senate seat. Um, she's uh, really not doing well in the polls. And that's because folks are tired of, uh, you know, the misrepresentations that she's put out there. So we'll see what happens in that race. Uh, but as far as the vice president's race is concerned, and again, I'm speaking as an elected Democrat, not as the secretary of state now, uh, you know, the Trump Vance Skibbity campaign is really going off the rails now that uh, the vice president is uh, the Democratic nominee. And I think she and Governor Waltz are absolutely going to give uh, Arizona a good run for our money. We had a record uh, attendance at the rally uh, late last week. The electricity in the room was palpable. And uh, you can feel the excitement out on the street. It is the talk of the town, not just here in the greater Phoenix area, but across the Grand Canyon state and not just among uh, folks who pay a lot of attention. We're hearing it from people who do not pay a lot of attention to politics. I am certainly in my own experience, and I think it's a great thing for the country. I want to ask you two election management questions, since that is part of what you oversee. You had primaries in your state uh, July 30th. That's what set the Senate race that we were just discussing. You're holding an event tomorrow to live stream the official canvas or the review of those results. You've also held training sessions this year, and we reported on it here on CBS about the concerns with deep fakes and making sure that elections officials in the state are familiar with how artificial intelligence could be used to sway voters or to dissuade voters from voting. Uh, how, by doing all this, 
Are you finding that it's actually helping explain the potential dangers to voters? Is it assuaging the concerns of those who perhaps were skeptical four years ago? Yeah, I think the preparations that we began in January of 2023, when I first took office, are paying off in spades. Our March presidential preference election went off completely without a hitch. Uh, and while it is a human endeavor and we always see a couple of issues, the July 30th primary election here in Arizona also was pretty solid. And part of that has to do with the fact that we've prepared folks. Now, that uh, deep fake of me that you see uh, was created as part of a uh, first in the nation AI tabletop training that we did for election workers uh, and elections officials across the state. But we didn't just do it for those folks. We did it for the media. We did it for law enforcement, because as I indicated to you uh, not too long ago, we are all in this together. We've all got to look with a discerning eye at the information that we're taking in. And, uh, you know, you'll you'll hear it for, here first. We may see the return of newspapers in print uh, because uh, it's really tough to, to, to see what's real and what's not real when uh, artificial intelligence from the generative uh, side is really doing yeah. such a great job and getting better. Well, Adrian Fontes is Arizona Secretary of State. We thank you for joining us now. I suspect we'll talk again before Election Day and beyond. Thank you again. Thank you.